the, yep. the, the prime minister has resigned, doesn't yeah. he? You know, yeah. that happened. That happens every three or four months. Now, uh, at the end of your spell in Italy, uh, it, rather with Juve, um, it happened because they were only allowed one player, foreign player. Uh, Michel Platini had had an amazing uh, time with France and was now a superstar. They'd won the European Championship. And they wanted to sign him, uh, which meant you had to leave. Yeah, well, Platini was was uh, really making a name for himself in France at the time and with the French national team. And Yelly, who we talked about, was he was very au fait with what was happening around the world with yeah. players and things like that. And I'd had a really good season at Juventus in my first year. We won the we won the league. Second season wasn't so it wasn't as good as the first season, um, but I thought you know we're winning the league. It never entered my mind that I had another year in my contract. It never entered my mind that they might say, "Look, we need we're going to replace you." Uh, so it was uh, it was a shock to me when I found out that Platini was going to be signed. Yeah. Um, but as I was explaining to you, Agnelli wanted Platini, and yeah. Bonaparte had to. Do what he was told. Yeah, and it was three games from the end of the league, you know, that this news broke in the newspapers. Yeah, because they have five, I think, soccer newspapers. Yeah, they know everything that's going on. They get yeah. leaked information, yeah, sure. you know, so. Now, and, the last... I went in to see... I, I, well, Go on. Trapattoni was the coach then. Yeah. <laughs> Your mate, Trap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, I went to see Trap when this... I, I got a phone call from somebody to say they're going to sign Platini, and I said, no, no, no. No. But you know, you put the phone phone down on the top. I wonder, you know, I just wonder. <laughs> so I went to see Trap after the get after training that morning. I said, Trap, well, you know and he said, No, 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 no. But I knew yeah. that he was telling me lies. Yeah. I yeah. could see by his face he was yeah. he was yeah. He was in a difficult position and yeah. he he was Yeah. And I went back home after training and I got a call to go into the club. And I knew then I was going to be told. And Bonaparte, in a typical Italian fashion, said to me, you know, broken hearted, but yeah. you know, <laughs> we, yeah. we've made this decision. Yeah, yeah. You know, if we could keep you, we would. You yeah. know, it's a ridiculous rule that you're only allowed one yeah. or two foreigners. And well, all a very, that. very tough moment for you. It was, yeah, it yeah. was. And then I said, well, you can stick it up your ass, you know, yeah. you know. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. um, he said, "No, no, no. We have we were playing for the title. Yeah. We have three games to go. You must, you know, you must be professional. You yeah. must." And I said, "No, no. I'm not playing anymore for you. You know." Yeah. And there was murders, and it was like, you know, and he got people to go around to my house to talk me around, and I, you know, I was only, I was yeah. only winding him up type of thing. I was never going to not play. Yeah. Because I had too much respect for the guys I was playing with. Yes. And. Uh, and came to well, the... all 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 went uh, ended well. We went on. We took, I think, five uh, five points out of the last six, and we won the title by a point. Yeah, but the the key moment was the last game, uh, where you weren't you were nil nil against a little club, uh, wasn't going well, and they got a penalty. Juventus got a penalty, and you stepped up to take the penalty. Now, were you the penalty taker? I was a penalty taker, but okay. we decided before the game, because of what had gone on yeah. with all this, that I wasn't going to take penalties anymore, you know. And it was uh, down to a centre-forward we had called Virdis at the time, who went on to play for AC Milan, did very, very well. He was going to take it, but Trapp had substituted him. He was off. Okay. So <laughs> when... The, <laughs> when we got a penalty, there was a bit of, you yeah. know, looking round, who's going to take it? Yeah. And I said, I'll take it, you know. And Fair play to you. Yeah. That's a bottle job. Well, <laughs> I was thinking, I've always taken penalties thinking, I'm going to score this, you know. Yeah. I didn't score them all. I missed some big ones. But, I, you know, I'd, I was never nervous taking a penalty. I never right. didn't want to take one. You always so. thought you were a favourite. Yeah, yeah. And the reason I started taking penalties is because Malcolm McDonald at Arsenal started missing them, and I was, we were getting fed up losing our win bonus. <laughs> aim. So, yeah, I we we pushed him out, and I came in, and I right. stayed a penalty taker all the time. You know, so for stepping Ireland, up to take for this Ireland, one, for Ireland, yeah, yeah. for for all the clubs I played for. But stepping up to take this one because, I mean, one the of league the, was on it. The one league. of the implications would have been 
that if you'd missed it was that you know you were uh, that doesn't discontent. Enter, no, that no. doesn't enter your mind. I think people Might write have entered mine. <laughs> <laughs> people write about it afterwards, but it never entered my mind. And it wasn't a particularly good penalty, but the keeper went the wrong way and it went in. Yeah. And we won the league. And you know, I remember that Juventus for the guy who was so yes. professional and all that. But you know, I, I I'd like to be remembered for a bit more than that. You know, I, I was I was. Well, I played are. very well the first really? year. Yeah. But it's kind of all my career event is all centers around this penalty. But uh, yeah. Anyway, we had we 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 won the title and we had a great time. And I had a great I had a great two years with some great players, Eamon, because yes. you remember the eighty two World Cup? They went yeah. on yeah. only a couple of months after that game. Yeah, Tardelli was yeah. one of them. Yeah. Cardelli, Cabrini, yeah. Calcio, Shirea, yeah. you know, Zoff. Yeah. The goalkeeper. They yeah. went on to win the eighty two World Cup. Yeah, and the little centre forward who scored all the goals. Rossi? Yeah. Paolo Rossi, yeah. Paolo Rossi, yeah. Who's a, a magnificent. Yeah, he player. played he only played the last three games of that league season. Wow. Because he was banned for something to do with taking yeah. bribes or something. 